Oh, 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 oh. But you had a car car, folks. What happened? I'm in the Hobo Depot. <laughs> I'm in the Hobo Depot. All right, today I want to talk to all my beginners and all my newcomers. Um, first, I need you to subscribe if that makes things more important. Subscribe and and share. All right. So today we're going to talk about um, a four-string bass. Because I want to get that off my chest. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about a four. Because I love four strings. I mean, but you see me play multiple basses, like five and six. You know? And if you catch me on the right day, I may have a seven. Not. <laughs> I used to own one, though. I used to own a Warrior 7. All right, so anyway. So today we're going to talk about the four string bass. I'm using my 1967... Um, it ain't a 67. It's got my 67 on the back, though. That's engraved, y'all. See that? My That's my Oldsmobile convertible. Sitting outside. It's sitting right out yonder. Out yonder. In the field. <laughs> no, in the yard. All right. So I'm going to use this P bass today. This is a PJ bass. Actually, before I got, when I first got it, it was a P bass. So now I, I put the jazz pickup in the back and made it a PJ bass. All right. And this is a Mex. This is a Mexican bass. Um... It's a beautiful mix. I really like it. I mean, it feels amazing. So, I'm going. I'm going to use this today because it's trustworthy. This bass is trustworthy. This is a, this is a really cool P, y'all. This is by the coolest P, almost the coolest P I own. Um, but anyway, today we're going to talk about a four string. Why am I going to talk about a four? Because I think it's important for us to know the characteristics of a four. This is only my opinion. A four talks. Totally different from a five. It talks totally different from a six. It just it's just it's just a great bass. Now I'm talking to my beginners now. Y'all already know that, right? So I'm saying this because I don't want you to get hyped up when people say, go get you a five, man, because you know what you're about to do, you you gonna need a five. Uh, that is that is so wrong. I said wrong, didn't I? That is so wrong to tell people that. And they just begin to play. That is the most wrongest thing. The wrongest thing to tell people is to go get a five. They they can't handle a four, but you want to go get a five because they're gonna play either gospel or or you know some serious hip hop. No, nah, nah, you don't need a five on the hip hop. Some gospel. I'll put it that way. Oh, you gonna play gospel? You gonna need a five, man. You ain't gonna need this four. You that's they ain't enough notes. That's for people who cheats a lot. That's what I say. Those who just beginning and say stuff like that, it's for those who cheat a lot. Because if you had to go out to a four, you can't cheat on a four. There's no way you can cheat on this bass. You can't cheat. You can either go get the note or you're going to miss the note. One or two. You're not gonna, it ain't going to be, oh, I can just drop down to the low B and I'll find it and then I'll be good. No. You're going to go get, you go ahead and go get your lunch on this baby. All right, so anyway, I like, I like the fours because... Um, the fourth talks like me, sounds like me. And this P bass, it, it's just, it has, because I put the rear pickup on it, it has a different kind of tone now. With just the front pickup, it sounds amazing. I mean, it's a four, so it sounds like that. pick up in the back you know it, it gives it a whole little different vibe this is the real bicep you hear how more soft it sounds how how more loving that's the word loving loving man and then when you put them both together it's like wow so you know i mean it's 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 just something about the four man not because it was the first thing made it, it's just it's just something about it that's that it feels good to me you know, so if you guys just starting out, 
get you a really nice four string bass it doesn't have to be a fender i don't know you know people get the wrong impression don't whatever you do don't go get a fender uh don't go get this bass or don't go, go get that bass what you need to do is go to your local candy store and sit in there if it takes you all day sit in there all day and play every bass until it gets right for you all right you, you understand what i'm saying because it has to feel good for you before you can feel good with it. Boy, I need to write that down. It has to feel good to you before you feel good with it. <laughs> Did you write it down? You didn't? Okay. Uh, I got it on film, though. So that's basically what it is. So it doesn't have to be a Fender. I love Fenders because that's what I started out with. My first real bass was a Fender. Even my first bass had a fender body it looked like this so i i i stayed with that look and I, and because it was the first thing i had in my hand that was real um i stayed with that not saying that there are other bases out there that don't you know don't add up to what this is i'm not saying that what i'm saying is guys get a base that feels good to you not a base that everybody says you should have right because the only thing that's gonna do is make you mad um, because you can't handle it um, make you embarrassed because you're gonna jump out there and think you can and cannot handle it and so the only thing that's gonna do is just cause more attention to you and you ain't ready for attention you you want to learn you're trying to learn all right so this is my intake I, I just like the the feel of the bass the attitude of the bass. There are some people that really don't like Fender, the, the, the body itself. I have friends that don't even like Fenders. Don't even like the way they feel. Don't like the way they look. They just don't like them, period. And I ain't mad at them. Because there's other basses out there, you know, that they like. And I'm, as long as they playing bass, that's all that matters to me. You playing bass? Yeah, what kind of bass you got? Don't matter. Just play. <laughs> that's what I feel. I don't care what you got. Just play. Sweet. So, um... Guys, once again, you know, four strings to me is is home. That's my meat and potatoes. I, I get a four. Um, I'm comfortable with a four. I'm comfortable with anything I put in my hand. But I'm I'm a lot more when it comes to television spots and and full concerts and stuff like that. Whether it's gospel, whether it's jazz, whether it's fusion, whether it's R and B pop, um, whether it's rap, whatever the case may be, you know, to me, a four is home for me. You know, I'm not saying I won't take a five or a six, but most likely on, you know, a, a jazz, my jazz funk gig, um, I would take a four because I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm home. Um, I don't want to be doing a lot of running around. There's I have other music. You see, that's another thing, guys, is that when you start adding more strings, you start doing more things, <laughs> more strings, more things. You, and if you got a full band like I have, in my band, I have a full band. Three horns, a guitar player, um, a keyboard player, drummer. You know, that's a lot of people to a lot of people. That's a lot of people. And every one of them, I say every one of them, every one of them have an office. I don't want to go into their, to their office. I want them to stay in their office and they want me to stay in my office. All right. And when it's time for us to come together in the middle of the of the conference room, then we have a meeting there, and we all join together, and we all sound amazing. Um, when you start adding five and six string basses, um, to me, this is only my opinion. You start um, venturing out, all right, and you start going in other people's offices. You know, I mean, because it's there. It's like you you got a five and a six, and you you want to experiment. But sometimes we forget, as bass players, forget that there's other people standing beside us that that's holding an office down. And we just knock, we didn't even knock on their door. We just went right in their office and just started talking. And that's not good. So with the four, I'm not saying you can't do it a four. I'm just saying with the four, you basically want to stay home. You know, stay, stay in your office and sit there and groove. Just groove. Now, let's talk about groove. Um, for those who just starting out, you know, maybe you can't do but one note. All right. Find that one note and find a beat 
and play with that one beat. If your beat is this, bat, boom, bat, boom, bat, boom. Find a note. Bat, 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 bat. There's your groove right there. You know, a lot of people are like, no, you ain't grooving, man, because you ain't playing like 19 notes. Okay, thank you, yeah. All right, so, you know, because I know great hits were made with this. Great hits were made with that one note. Okay, so I'm not saying that, you know, you, you I, what I am saying is you ain't got to play 18 notes. To be a groove that's not and, I, and I'm, I'm hearing a lot of stuff on youtube and i'm seeing a lot of stuff where guys are posting on facebook check out my funk groove and man it, it's so much going on in the groove that it's not even funk they playing the horn lines they playing you know they the bass they took away the bass ain't even being played they just playing horn lines guitar lines piano lines i'm like dude that's not a groove i thought you gonna i thought you gonna play a groove and I'm waiting for a funky, well, they call it a funky groove. I'm waiting for a funky groove. You ain't got there yet because you playing everybody lines. I'm not saying it, it, it's not good. I'm just saying don't post a funky groove, bass groove. A, and, and I ain't heard the bass fall yet. There was one guy um, that came on Facebook, and, I, and I, he, I mean, what he was playing was amazing. But he was playing a horn line, and he said a funky bass groove. And I'm like, dude. I, I hit him up, I said, dude, since you got the horn line down pat, because you ain't played bass yet, why don't you play the simple part, which is the bass line? Well, it's the simple part, yet the hardest part. Because, listen guys, beginning guys, when you have so much up here, it's hard to stop it between here and here. It's hard to stop. So you have to sit down and condition yourself to actually make yourself play simplicity <laughs> yeah, make yourself play simplicity make yourself play simple all right some people call it kiss all right i call it just making yourself play simple because we're so knowledgeable of all the core structures and the modes that by the time it leaves here and get to here i'm somewhere in between that gray area all of them sort of coming together and by the time it gets here it's a mess you know, you may call it one thing, but it's a mess. This is really a mess. So the hardest thing that that you can do is play simple nowadays. That's the hardest thing to do. And for me, that's why I stay on a four, because four make me play simple. Not saying that I can't venture out there and do some crazy stuff on a four. I'm not saying that. But four string makes me play simple. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a simple instrument. So it makes everything simple for me. Um, I don't have to venture out and find you know extra notes on the on the B string, or uh, you know if I got two other strings, a six string, I don't have to go out and, and venture all that. I'll, I don't do all that with a four. I I, I want to stay home because it sounds so great. All oh, the notes are so amazing. So I, I don't want to make this too long, but I want you guys at the beginning to know that you don't have to run out and get a five and run out and get a six. You know, and you just start. Just start at the basic. Once you get the basic down, move up. Move up to a five, to a six, to a twenty. You can move up when you want to. But if you can't you can't master this, you can't handle this, you can't handle a five. And some people are like, oh I don't know, I I disagree with that. Go right ahead. Cause I wanna I want I wanna see you play, you know, if you just start now, I want to see you play amazingly with a five. Because I, I, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying, get this first. Get a four string first. Learn all you can on the four. And if you want to put it over there in the corner or give it away to me, I'll take it. Give it away or somebody else. Just give it to somebody who's somebody else who's learning. You know what I'm saying? Once you get this down pack. If you don't want to play it no more, give it to somebody else who's learning. That's what you need to do. So there you have it, folks. That's my little... My little spiel today. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for checking out my videos. Shout out to Kaka. Peace out. Love you guys. Peace.